I'm going to describe that in our web report uh, tonight as a comfortable and comprehensive victory. You happy with it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I thought we came out a little flat in the first uh, first five six minutes there. We I don't know, we didn't have our feet going. The atmosphere in the building wasn't wasn't great tonight, but again, we had a game on Wednesday, and um, you know, was, I felt like it was a little bit of a trap game tonight for us, where we you know this team's short coming down long trip. Maybe maybe I thought we were gonna take it for granted and think it was gonna be an easy hockey game, and and they came out and played good the first five minutes, but then once we got settled, I, I felt like. You know, we, we started to take the game over and, and made it pretty hard for them. You mentioned atmosphere in the building. It does play a role, that, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit, for sure. Um, you know, it's it's Christmas time. I, I get it. You know, it's but it does it. It really does build the boys up when there's a big crowd behind us and we come out and everyone's screaming. And, um, and tonight, you know, the, that's no excuse. Let's be honest. Well, you don't. You, you don't know. need an excuse. To I said it. after the first period, if uh, you know, if we come out like that for the first five or six minutes against a real good hockey team, we could that could cost us a game. So we gotta we gotta stay on top of that and make sure we're ready for puck drop. You've only conceded uh, four goals in three games now. All coaches love that, don't they? Yeah, and we haven't really given up a ton. Um, you know, there's been a couple chances here or there, but. I thought defensively we were pretty solid tonight and I didn't give them a ton. Penalty kill did a good job as well. Power play was really good tonight too. So uh, just a good good night for us. It, you know, we didn't have to expand a ton of energy coming home tonight where, you know, no Sunday game, which is different for us as well. So we were able to, to leave a little bit out there. You know, obviously we, we lost John Armstrong in the first period there, which hopefully isn't too serious, but it just... It's another one of those things where it just seems like it, it, it never it, ends. He went off rubbing a particular part of his body. It, does that uh, suggest he might need an x-ray? or? Yeah, uh, the medical team will usually come in to me in the next half hour here right. and give me an update on where things are at. So um, I don't know exactly what it all entails, if it was precautionary or if, if he's going to need to get a, an x-ray tonight. Brocklehurst? He was just sick. Um, yesterday morning he... Came up, came down with the flu. He was going to try today, but then really wasn't feeling much better at all. And with the no Sunday game, it just seemed like let him rest and, and get him ready for, for Wednesday.